So we're gonna go ahead and see what's going on and how they're all doing. Besides, good to always have a good exotic vet on hand. I've got the Snakos all in their travel containers. So they're just in here with a little, little bit of Aspen. They're all stacked and I put them in this little red cubby, the ones that you find at Walmart and all of that, just to make sure that they don't dance around or anything. I don't want them going through any extra stress. Taking a little longer than I was expecting, good thing I left early, because there was actually an accident on the freeway. So always good to, you know, be a generous person, leave early when possible. Gives you time to get everything organized. All right, we are here at the vet, so we're just gonna go ahead, go on inside, and see what's going on. All right, we are finally here, and I'm actually waiting in the exam room right now. They're over there, and I am filling out a bunch of paperwork. I'm really happy so far. This is pretty awesome. They're asking stuff about like when they last ate, what the enclosure requirements are, so I've got a really good feeling about this vet. How you guys doing? Doing okay? Yeah? You just making little noises just looking at me mango i see you looking at me it took oh my gosh it took me maybe like 25 minutes to fill out all that paperwork i am so used to typing that uh i'm not too great at this anymore if you don't have enough money saved away for your animal in case uh, you need to take them to the vet or in case of any emergencies then you might want to think twice before purchasing a reptile because it's just considered to be um, a lot more responsible when you have that money set aside for any emergencies so that you can, uh, you can afford to take care of them and make sure that they're okay. Hello, how you doing? Oh, there you go. You just didn't wanna be inside the bin anymore.
Um, so the vet took a look at Zuko and it seems like he might have a small scratch or ulcer on his left eye, so they are going to prescribe him some antibiotics. We'll be treating him at home, um, get rid of all the aspen, just leave him on some paper towel, nice, sterile, easy to clean, and hopefully within a few weeks it should start clearing up. And it does make sense that he's been struggling to eat because he was already pretty flighty and sensitive to change. Then you add the fact that he can't see that well right now on his left eye, it makes sense that he's not eating a lot. So hopefully this will be good and um, it should help. And this is just why it's so important to make sure that you have the money to take your reptiles to the vet if something happens. Uh, I'm Dr. Hussey and I work at Creature Comforts Animal Hospital and I saw six very energetic snakes today just for some wellness exams uh, and we wanted to talk a little bit about why we do the wellness exams and why they're so important. Um, I see dogs, cats, and reptiles. I don't see any small furries. And the main difference between your dogs and cats and your reptiles is dogs and cats are a little bit easier to tell when they're sick. They're still not easy, but easier to tell when they're sick. Uh, your reptiles hide it extremely well. Um, the other important thing is they are cold-blooded, is the term that people want to use, and it means that they're affected by the environment that they're in. And most of the health problems that we see in reptiles is because they're in the wrong environment. Uh, and there's a lot of conflicting information out there, or they're purchased and they're assumed to be easy creatures, and they're not that easy to keep and keep healthy. So the importance for me with doing those wellness exams is it lets us look at them and make sure physically we don't find anything abnormal, like signs of respiratory disease, uh, um, underweight, soft poop, par parasites in the poop, and it lets us check what kind of habitat and diet that they're on. Um, important supplements, important UVB bulbs, most of my visits when I see reptiles is adjusting what kind of habitat they're in because they're so sensitive to it. Hey guys, so um, that was the end of the vet trip. Unfortunately, my phone died as um, Dr. Hussey was talking to us. Um, it's been about three weeks since that visit. And I'm finally gonna get that video. It's already edited and out there for you guys. Um, Zuko's doing a lot better. He's already had a checkup as well. His eye is clearing up, which is great because we're actually going to be trading him for a surprise that I'll keep you guys posted on once that happens. Hopefully sometime this coming two weeks. Um, so he's doing great. He has a clean bill of health. He's still kind of fussy with food, but he hasn't been losing any weight. And considering that the vet gave him the okay, it makes me feel a lot better about... Um, Ha having someone else take care of him because at least they know and they have that reassurance that a vet actually took a look at him and that he's okay. She said that the scratch on his eye should be, um, it's basically lifting, it's like coming off I guess. It's just a lot, it's clearing up and it should be good as new um, the next time that he sheds. So there we go and I hope that you guys enjoy this and you know don't forget make sure to keep your animals all safe and well taken care of. Have a great day.